What we do is we basically bring the library out to children. It actually started when the founder of the Salvation Army saw people living on the streets, children forced to work in factories. This year, we're going to honor the legacy of Dr. James Farmer with a scholarship. Setting up these thought leadership councils, it's the best way to effectively engage our members. Our teachers, I would put their educational qualifications and their training up against anybody. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Catherine Falk, market leader for Cox Communications in Northern Virginia. Thank you for joining us today. Innova is a global leader in personalized health that uses the latest research and technology to help people live longer, healthier lives. Their Center for Personalized Health will connect researchers, clinicians, and empowered consumers and integrate genomic research for patient care, prevention, and wellness. We're excited to have Todd Stottlemyre, CEO of Innova's Center for Personalized Health, here to talk about it. Welcome, Todd. Great. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Tell us about Innova's background. How long have they been around, and what's the breadth of your services? Well, Innova actually started in 1956 as a single hospital, the Fairfax Hospital Administration. And some 50 some years later, Innova is now a comprehensive healthcare system with uh, six hospitals, uh, multiple health related facilities, health plexes, uh, imaging centers, a comprehensive healthcare system serving the greater Washington, D.C. area with more than 2 million patients uh, each year coming through our healthcare system. That's amazing, and I know you've had some really big news recently, which is that you acquired the ExxonMobil, former ExxonMobil campus, 117 acres here in Fairfax, and you have some really exciting plans there, and along with that is the creation for the Center for Personalized Health. Tell us about that. Well, Catherine, we did. We acquired the ExxonMobil headquarters campus right across the street from our flagship Inova Fairfax campus, and uh, we've announced that we're going to place the, the Inova Center for Personalized Health on this new campus. We took possession of the campus on October 1st and we're starting now a renovation process uh, as we move the Center for Personalized Health into the existing footprint uh, as well as develop the um, additional land on that campus. And so what does the, the future state of that campus look like? And talk about the impact on the region because I know a lot of people in the chambers and the business community are so excited about the impact this is going to have on our community. Well, the, the Innova Center for Personalized Health is really focused on two concepts. First and foremost, how do we keep healthy people healthy? And that's very important. And then secondly, uh, if people get sick, and they will get sick, how do we get them back to wellness? And how do we use genomic science in a very targeted way in terms of their care and their treatment? And that's really super cutting edge stuff. It is. It's, it's very cutting edge. And with the mapping of the human genome, it has led to just uh, remarkable discoveries in how we can both predict and prevent disease, and very importantly, if you get disease, how we can treat you as an individual and target therapies to get you better. Now, what, what will eventually be on that campus? I know the, the Center for Cancer is one, the Shar Center for Cancer. Yeah, a very important part of the campus will be the Inova Shar Cancer Institute, and we're very pleased that uh, Dwight and Martha Shar, two outstanding leaders in our community, uh, have made a $50 million contribution to support the establishment of the Shar uh, Cancer Institute. Also on the campus will be our research, the Inova Translational Medicine Institute that focuses on genomics research and the application uh, into clinical care will also be on the campus in addition to other ANOVA research programs. Uh, we anticipate having lots of third-party partners, academic uh, medical center partners, uh, commercial partners, technology partners uh, as we build out this campus. We will also have a Mayo Clinic-like uh, clinic on the campus, the ANOVA Clinic. Uh, we'll have a, 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 just a fantastic group of uh, specialists and subspecialist clinicians uh, that will provide care to our community. Uh, so we're very excited uh, about this new Center for Personalized Health and how it can really change uh, care within our community as we work to predict and prevent disease, and if you get disease, target it in a very specific way using genomic science. And talk a little bit about what genomic science is. Well, genomic science, again, with the mapping of the human genome, we've learned so much um, about each of us as individuals, and we're all very, very different based on our genome. And what we've been able to do is to start to be able to predict and prevent disease based on genomic characteristics. And if you get diseases, if you have a certain genomic characteristic, we know to use very targeted therapies that will only work for you based on your genomic characterization. That's amazing. And so 
the, the future campus will include this Cancer Institute. It will be mixed use, residential. It will also have people living there, right? Well, we're thinking about a health and wellness village. Uh, first and foremost, the, the, the clinical focus is on personalized health. Again, how do we keep healthy people healthy, and how do we target uh, disease when you're, when you're not healthy? Uh, and we're also looking for complementary type of uses. We'll have a big research focus on the campus, technology, uh, the Innova Clinic, a conference facility. And so what other types of uses do we need on this campus so that we can deliver the type of care? So we're thinking about restaurants, we're thinking about retail, we're thinking about potentially uh, residential space to support those men and women who are going to come work on our campus. And you have 16,000 employees in the region now. Is that going to be growing at, at the conclusion of this creation? Yeah, absolutely. We do have 60, well, approximately 16,000 people in the region today. And as we uh, build out this campus and expand this campus, we're going to be attracting uh, outstanding women and men from across the world to come uh, join the Future of Health on the Innova Center for Personalized Health Campus. And, and part of that, you mentioned this, the Translational Medicine Institute. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, we created the Innova Translational Medicine Institute about four years ago, and we hired Dr. John Niederhuber, who had been the last director of the National Cancer Institute, uh, to come lead the Translational Medicine Institute. And what Dr. Niederhuber and his team focus on is how do we take genomic science and the learnings and discoveries around genomic science and then translate it into clinical care. And uh, that's what his institute does, working very closely with our clinicians throughout the Innova healthcare system. Great, and um, I know that the the center and the campus is really going to be open to the public because you mentioned it's going to be this health and wellness destination, really. It is. It is a destination site. Uh, the 117 acres sits on the intersection of the Capitol Beltway, which is our main street here in uh, the Washington, D.C. area, and Route 50, again, right across from the Nova Fairfax campus. Uh, it's a fantastic piece of land, and, and more importantly, what we're going to do with that piece of land, what it means to our community. Uh, in terms of clinical care and research and discovery and how we can help our community be healthier than it is today. Uh, so we're very excited about this new campus and uh, we do want, we're going to have lots of people on this campus, not only those that are again getting care, uh, we're working to keep healthy, but also people that will come to the campus to use some of the amenities uh, that we put in place as well. And I, as I mentioned, the business community is so excited because this investment is really tremendous and will probably make this a center beyond the campus for similar type business activities and research and medical activities. Is well, it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity for the region. We have a number of uh, key strengths that are important to what we're doing. Uh, we're a data center hub, so the ability to have large amounts of data and capacity. Uh, we're a hub for data science and data analytics and software tools, which are important, if you will, to analyze all this genomic and clinical data. Uh, we also have real strength in cyber. Uh, and information security. We need to protect all this data. So these strengths play very well against the clinical strengths uh, at ANOVA. And so we think there's great interaction and integration between the historical strengths of our community and what we're going to be doing on this campus. Fabulous. How can our viewers learn more about the exciting things you're doing at ANOVA? Well, we'd love to have them join the Future of Health, and they can do that by, by going to ANOVA.org. And uh, we would welcome uh, their participation. We're excited about this campus, and uh, uh, we look forward to the future again with great excitement. Great. Todd, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Stay tuned. We have more Cox Connections after the break.